Okay, this video, a uh, little late, I know it happened earlier in the week, but just wanted to get my thoughts on there. I tweeted a couple things yesterday, and uh, they seem to get a little bit of attention, but it's pretty much about what Kevin Nash and his comments about, um, you know, Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit, how they said, um, you know, how they pretty much ruined the wrestling business. I'm trying to find a direct quote just so I can um, say that. But, mm, yeah, never mind. I'll just, I know the gist of it, and I'm sure you guys do too, but pretty much he said the day that they won the titles at WrestleMania 20, when, well, not when they won, when Benoit won, they were both standing in the ring. Uh, it's pretty much when the wrestling business died because they turned a superstar into just five foot seven guys who look like average people. And for CM Punk and uh, Daniel Bryan, they are the same thing. You know, they aren't superstar, superstar caliber. They're just guys who can walk through an airport and not be recognized. And the only way they could be recognized is wearing their own t-shirt and with their title in hand. That's pretty much the gist of what he said. That's Well, at least that's the main thing. I'm sure the interview was so long. And honestly, I don't even know what he said in the interview. I just know the more controversial things... But, um, thing is, he, you know, to me, like this title says, Kevin Nash does have a valid point. Um, reason being, you know, that's what a superstar is to me. A superstar is someone who is larger than life. A superstar. There's a bunch of stars, but then there's superstars. The Rock and John Cena are superstars because they are just larger than life. They are what everyone aspires to be. When you got a guy like Hulk Hogan, who was also you know, that guy who you just put on that pedestal, he looks the part, he looks like he could, you know, I know this gets thrown around all the time, but a champion should be someone who legitimately looks like he can kick your ass. When you have the Miz as champion, he doesn't look believable as an ass kicker. When you got Brock Lesnar, he does look like an ass kicker. He calls himself an ass kicker. And that's what a superstar should be. He should be a guy who is larger than life. He should... You know, I don't want to say, but he should be big, he should be tall, and he should be that person who can't walk through an airport without being taken a second look at. Kevin Nash being a seven foot tall guy, and I'm sure he finds it himself that, you know, I once held the WWF title back in 94, but, you know, that was the worst time for the WWE, you know, financially. And it kind of it kind of irks me when when he says that two guys ruined the business. But then again, he was champion at the time when WWE was pretty much at its lowest point. So, and I know Chris Jericho said that as well. And surprisingly, you know, I didn't think WWE superstars would comment on this. I'm not sure if CM Punk did though. But pretty much what I'm saying is, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, they're I wouldn't call them superstars. Sure, they wrestle for the WWE. That automatically makes them superstars. But when you take, when you really dig deep into it, they are nothing but wrestlers. They are nothing but sports entertainers. I wouldn't call them larger than life superstars because, once again, like Kevin Nash says, it's true. They can't walk through an airport. If you go and show them a picture of, you know, who is this guy, you know, he, a Waffle House line cook could come to mind. You know, and CM Punk does look like that kind of guy. Uh, Daniel Bryan just looks like your average guy with a huge ass beard, you know. But little do people know that. They are one of the two best wrestlers in the world, and that's not a short like a short statement at all. But when it comes to putting them up against guys like John Cena, guys like The Rock, guys like Stone Cold, guys like Triple H, Hulk Hogan, they can't hold a candle to them because those guys are just larger than life, and they are superstars. They have, you know, made a name for themselves like Daniel Bryan and CM Punk probably will never be able to do. Sure, it may be the time, but I think there's always that one thing where you break the glass and you just open so many doors for yourself. And CM Punk, I know a lot of people are claiming he's going to be that guy who's going to break the glass into the next generation and be that one who everyone's going to look at and say, you know, that's the guy. And he just happens to be, you know, six foot two, two 220 pounds instead of 6'8", 330. And... You know, that's what wrestling has come to. You know, Kevin Nash in 94, 95, you know, that's, that was his 
you know, his time. You know, when when guys won one, when characters were huge, I think Kevin Nash's use. I, if I were to go into Kevin Nash's brain, I would think that the lack of characters, one issue he has with them since he pretty much owned the whole 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99 even. And in that time, you had guys like Doink the Clown, you had Diesel, that trucker guy, you had Undertaker, pretty much a dead man. Bret Hart, who was kind of, I don't know what Bret Hart's character would be, but he was more of that hero kind of person. You know, everyone in the WWF at one time, you had to have a character. When you go to WCW, same thing. But as the times went on, when you had the Attitude Era and the Nitro Raw Wars, it kind of started to fade away. And that's when you really started to see those guys really come out and their true colors really shine. And you got guys like Goldberg, who was just a wrecking machine. Uh, Hollywood Hogan, who went from 360 from a good guy to a bad guy. And look how good that turned out. You won't see that kind of stuff in 2012 when, you know, A, the business isn't as hot as it once was. And two, you know, you just can't develop stars and they can't just get over because no one's really watching and no one's going to watch three hours of shit that you put on every Monday. And that could be another reason. And watching review after review, people get tired after two hours. Three hour Raws is, is not going to, you know, sure, you're going to get some money out of it, but it's really going to turn a lot of fans away because they are not going to sit through it all. And when they get bored, they're just going to change the channel. And that's where you, that perception comes up like, you know, these guys are supposed to be superstars, but they can't even get people to watch for three hours straight. And, uh, yeah, that's my whole thought. I, I think Kevin Nash, just to sum it all up, for saying things about Guerrero and, and Ben Washer, it's a cheap shot since they are dead, but they were amazing wrestlers. Their business didn't die because of them, but I can see where he's coming from when you got two guys who, you know, they they were big. I'm not going to say they were small, because Benoit and Guerrero, when you look at them, they, for their size, they were pretty pretty jacked up but when it comes to height wise sure they weren't the biggest tallest guys they didn't kill the business although they did open doors i would say and um as for daniel bryan and cm punk uh, i think the business is evolving and it's not all about being big and you know bulky like ryback and batista and mason ryan um but i think more if you're an athlete and you can really talk because I think that's what the whole WWE has come to is if you can cut a promo if you can capture the audience through your words you have a shot those two guys clearly can do that so either way that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it um, I'll see you guys in the next video